Hi, this is Benjamin, founder of Farm Again. As I have said before, uh, Grotron, our flagship product, was named as one of the top 100 innovations of India in uh, year 2023. With that, let's get into uh, this farm discussion. This is called V Eco Farm uh, in Tondamuthur, Coimbatore. And this is Mr. Prashant, the owner of uh, the farm. Uh, welcome, sir. Welcome. Uh, nice meeting you. And uh, uh, I mean, uh, I know you. I think got to know about us in 2023, last year middle. Yes. Uh, it'll be interesting to know from you what really uh, was your thought process and what was the designing factor, what was your expectation when you came with Grotron? Um, basically, I'm from Coimbatore. I'm into the pharma business, but my farm is located 30 kilometers away from Coimbatore. And it was, easy, it was not easy for me to manage the farm, which is located far away, and I cannot shuttle daily to the farm and office. So I wanted an automated solution to manage my farm, mainly the irrigation. So uh, I was searching for a good solution, and uh, in last year, 2023, in the agri Intex Coimbatore, I met Farm Again. After a lot of discussion, we came to the finalizing Farm Again. Main thing is, the only farm again had a solution which has a fertigation embedded system. So it is easy for, uh, you can also have the monitor, the both irrigation as well as the fertilizer application for your farm easily in the uh, system. Yeah. So that was the main deciding factor for go to farm again. Also, um, you have gone with uh, uh, the sensor based irrigation system. system. So do you think uh, that makes sense for, for your farm or do you think you have excess water or I mean, was it a deciding factor at all? No. Actually, if you look into the last 20 years, the farm, the water level is continuously decreasing. So, uh, the initially, the coconuts were grown in flood irrigation. Then came drip irrigation. Now, I have gone for a subsurface irrigation. That, that is the most uh, uh, water saving, uh, as well as um, it, it requires just less water than other two irrigation. Yes. Uh, so it is conserving the nature as well as our resources also getting uh, used uh, economically. And also I think you do uh, organic farming. Yes. Um, so I think uh, when you do organic farming, um, the microbes that you send to the soil, they don't get exposed to the sunlight and die. Instead, they exactly. go straight to the root zone. Exactly. Because uh, once uh, microbial content is being exposed to the sun, the, uh, the population will get decreased microbially. So, if you go into the subsurface irrigation, there is no sunlight penetrating to the soil and it, it goes along with the water. So, it multiplies rather than there is no chance of decreasing in the microbial content. Right. And we also use the organic uh, farm uh, because if it is chemical, there is no chance of getting reduced. But if it, we are using organic, we have to consider this factor. Uh, so the microbial count is very much important for yeah. an organic farm. Also, you are a certified uh, organic farm, right? Yeah, we are actually certified. We are following organic practices since 2000 and we are certified since 2000. So uh, we uh, wanted a solution only organic driven. We don't want, uh, we never considered any inorganic solutions okay. till today. Okay, that's very nice. So this farm, uh, like uh, Mr. Prasad said, uh, is an organic farm. And they make a lot of concoctions and even vermicompost. They have a separate facility to make vermicompost. And uh, they make things like uh, panchagavyam, jivamridam and other uh, things like uh, asospirulum. They buy and they mix it. And they have a digester also. Now, all these are uh, uh, microbial consortium that are generated, multiplied and sent into the farm. Uh, and uh, that is using Grotron, you can actually do a, give it to the root zone. And since they have done uh, subsurface irrigation, it goes straight to the root zone. That's one. Number two, the expectation. This is an information I just wanted to pass on to the organic farmers. Uh, the microbial consortium is expected that it, uh, while it uh, uh, eats the organic carbon in the soil and then multiplies, uh, the process of that uh, you know, uh, helps leach out all the chemicals or the minerals uh, that are required for the plant to perform well. Now, there is also a new concept called Bio-NPK. Now, the Bio-NPK is not a microbial consortium, unlike Asospirulum and things like that. Uh, the, these are Bio-NPK are actual extract of NP and K from biosources as against chemical sources that we get in the name of fertilizers. So, if you get exposed to Bio-NPK, the advantage is that you can calculate the amount of N, P and K required just like one would calculate for a chemical uh, or inorganic form. So, 
it gives you more flexibility it, it uh, enables you to actually uh, do a precision farming even with organic because so far uh, there was there was a big uh, 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 you know lack of clarity uh, in terms of how re, how do you really do precision farming uh, in organic now this seems to have come as a good answer so i would like to pass this information on to all the organic farmers uh, if it is useful uh, please try this so we are at the head unit um, so this head unit has filter setup and the valves setup so i'll talk about the filter setup uh, first so this has uh, uh, auto backwash also enabled we have installed auto, auto backwash uh, the special about this auto backwash is that uh, clean water from one filter is used to clean the other filter which means the water that comes from this filter the output that comes from this goes through this pipeline enters into the disk filter therefore it cleans it and then goes into the sand filter and the, it cleans the inside sand the waste water comes out this way and uh, is diverted there and same here if this filter has to be cleaned then the clean water from that filter is diverted into this uh, therefore it cleans both the disk and sand filter and after cleaning this the water comes out this way and goes out so that way uh, we use clean water to clean the other filter and also there are three uh, pressure sensors you can see one two and three uh, so the difference between two points is measured and if uh, and you can identify if it is choked or uh, choked or if it is fine so the pressure differential based backwash is uh, also installed in this form so next we see here the centralized uh, valve system all valves are centralized in one uh, location uh, and i've seen this uh, in maharashtra uh, really not seen um, centralized installation in tamil nadu uh, and i have been of the opinion that this is quite expensive uh, maybe double the cost of uh, regular installation where you keep the valves uh, right at the plot itself. So if I may know what really made you go for this kind of a centralized system and does the cost, did the cost uh, justify this kind of an installation? Yeah. yeah, actually we are going for automation. Okay. So we have reduced our manpower drastically. So in tomorrow, uh, there is if there is any service, we have to uh, uh, make, uh, educate the service people to show where the gate walls are there and they will also have a communication lack uh, while turning the system on and off yeah. everything and uh, in the lead, in the service lead time we have to do the irrigation manually mm. if that service lead time takes a lot that time we cannot educate a new employee and uh, we cannot uh, show them where the valve is how it has to be done but we also had been uh, criticized for it will be uh, uh, high expensive mm -hmm. but when i asked the people to give the quotation for both i took the quotation for both the, okay. the model uh, at the time um, the main advantage is my farm irrigation system is in center of the farm okay so uh, and we worked out a uh, quotation for both the things. At that time, it seems to be only 15 percentage the regular irrigation channel. Okay. So then, uh, yeah, when we are looking into a long term perspective, mm. and uh, it, we are going to use this irrigation for more than 10 years, then that time I felt this 15 percentage of increase in cost will be uh, will uh, will be uh, necessary for the yeah. maintenance. Justifiable expense. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, even I didn't know that uh, the differences going to be only 15 percent. I was really thinking mm -hmm. uh, double cost. So if it is 15 percent, then I would also like to uh, pass this on as a message to the viewers. Uh, if there is anyone who is going to start installations, I mean, uh, start an irrigation system fresh, I would suggest um, also look at this as an option. Look at uh, centralized valve system as an option and see the cost benefit and, and then uh, you, you may decide whether you want to go with centralized or decentralized. But uh, something as an option you can always keep. So this is the uh, fertigation setup of this farm and as you can see well ventilated. This is one thing that we struggle in many places here very nicely ventilated and uh, uh, if you see uh, the platform is very well done. Um, anyone who goes f uh, trying to fill this tank won't really have to struggle. It's, it's uh, very nicely done. Um, I mean overall I think it is one of the best installations I would say. So, uh, it would be interesting to know uh, why you had uh, these kind of big thousand liters tank and that we have six of them and uh, I mean, what, what was the reason behind? 
ओके मेनली वी हैव गॉन फॉर एन ऑटोमेशन सो दिस टोटल सिस्टम इज गोइंग टू मेंटेन ओनली बाय वन पर्सन सो आई वांट टू मेक द थिंग्स कन्वीनियंट कंफर्टेबल फॉर द एम्प्लॉय दैट इज अ मेन थिंग सो दिस प्लेटफॉर्म इज मेड वाइडर टू मेक द एम्प्लॉय स्टैंड देयर एंड फिल द इंग्रेडिएंट्स व्हिच एवर रिक्वायर्ड so he can do it comfortably okay. so for each tank we are doing organic so for each tank we have a single ingredient for that okay this will be the jeeva maradam this will be for panchakavyam this will be for meen amilam or the fish extractor mm-hmm. and this will be for asospirulum and phosphobacter this is for potash nebulizer and that is for viridi the viridi and potash mobilizer can go in a single tank mm. but uh, even required we want to add another ingredient or another fertilizer we will use that tank and we can okay. use it in the okay. second tank okay. like that we have planned it sure very well done i think uh, <laughs> uh, for organic this kind of a planned systematic elaborate system i think is uh, maybe it will set an example Uh, among the organic farming yes, community okay. i guess so do you maintain a, any ratio of uh, let's say jeeva mardam these many liquids per acre do you have any such calculation so uh, we have made a ratio for our farm which will suit our land so this is first tank we have uh, for jeeva mardam this 1000 liter is a concentrate this is for 25 acres it will be irrigated every day so mm-hmm. every day we will prepare jeeva amritam and refill it and for every irrigation this will get diluted and it will be get irrigation and this is made into ratio for 50 liters per hectare so okay. uh, we, this this farm is around like 10 hectares mm-hmm. so 500 liters of panchakavyam will be pumped out of the uh, irrigation system okay. and this will be uh, this is a month requirement mm-hmm. so we dilute it based on it so okay. per hectare 50 liters of panchakavya is for one month mm. and this is for uh, uh, this uh, me, uh, the fish extract this is uh, which we give monthly once this is also same ratio as uh, panchakavya for 50 liters per hectare this boost the uh, flowering of the plant actually okay. and uh, asospirulum and phosphobacter the concentrate is for 3 liters for 1000 liters for each 3 liters for 1000 liters okay, okay. the concentrate uh, this 3 liters will be mixed uh, so totally 6 liters will be mixed with the 1000 liters mm. and this is also getting irrigated uh, for every day okay and the phosphobacter and uh, potash mobilizer is, that is also having the same ratio the 3 liters for 1000 liters and uh, it is getting irrigated every day okay this farm is just started running uh, autonomously uh, with crotron Uh, so we expect maybe six to twelve months as a timeline for uh, someone to see a visual change, but the real benefits can only be noticed in about eighteen uh, to twenty-four um, months. So sometime during that time, we'll come back, revisit this farm, and see how the trees have performed with the help of uh, Grotron. Um, so and again, this farm with such an elaborate uh, uh, organic uh, program. i think is going to be an inspiration for a lot of uh, viewers who either are following organic or want to turn organic so thank you so much for your time thank you and it is a well done form uh, and uh, also congratulations appreciate the effort that you put in thank you thank you i hope this video uh, was useful to some of you especially the organic farmers uh, coconut organic farmers and if it was and if you do think it can be of use to somebody else please do forward the video and if you would like to get notified about the videos that we post uh, instantly please do subscribe and we will again uh, meet in another video with more interesting information maybe on the crops or technology until then thank you very much see you later